Hello, this is Fred Burke with uh, TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, short sales and what short sales are. Uh, short sale is when a lender accepts a discount on a mortgage to avoid a possible foreclosure, auction, or bankruptcy. Uh, instead of buying from a seller, you are purchasing the property directly from the lender for a discount. For example, a homeowner who is facing foreclosure has an existing first mortgage of, let's say, uh, $300,000. Uh, you write an offer to the lender for $225,000, which is accepted as full payment for the loan. Uh, why are they willing to take such a discount? Well, there's several reasons. First of all, uh, banks do not like excess inventory and bad loans on their books. Therefore, if they see an opportunity when they can get rid of the property without a huge loss, they usually will do it. Secondly, lenders know they can lose a lot more money if the property goes to auction. <clears throat> there are so many fees involved if the property goes to auction that they will be better off taking the discounted beforehand and be finished with the uh, headache of it all. Uh, fact is, uh, I know of a person, a house I've been trying to buy particularly for three years now, uh, she has actually already been foreclosed on um, over, uh, oh my god, I think it's been almost a year now. And she just got another three-month extension uh, before she goes to court. And she'll probably end up with another three-month extension. So uh, if somebody knows how to play the game right, and if the investor knows the right words to say to the lender and how to present the short sale offer, then chances are um, you will be able to get a good discount on your offers and get some great deals through short sales. So anyway, right now foreclosures are at an all-time high, which basically translates into more opportunities for you. Uh, since foreclosures are increasing, as, as we read in the paper and see on all over the internet, CNN, Money, Forbes, everywhere, um, this is the perfect time to jump into this because there will be more and more lenders discounting properties. It's safe to say that most lenders will discount. However, you may come across a few that are still pretty stubborn and still not willing to take that much of a discount. No matter how good you are at negotiating, you still will not succeed on every short sale. It's impossible. If the numbers work out for the lender, normally they will do it. Also, lenders will not always discount the loan to value if uh, it really is low because they would be better off just to sell the property and make money on it. Um, they're not stupid. They're going to know exactly what it is that you know. <clears throat> They're going to send a BPO out and have a uh, real estate appraiser or a uh, real estate agent come out and do what's called the BPO. And hopefully uh, you've done your homework and you have all your contractor's estimates together because let me, let me explain something to you here. This has happened to me. Um, I've had BPOs that were ordered where they sent an appraiser out and they did not tell the appraiser that it was uh, a pre-foreclosure. <clears throat> they just told them they were going out to do an appraisal. Well, they did not do what was called a cost to cure. A cost to cure is when they're going to actually put down prices or give estimates of what it's going to cost to bring them, the property back to market value. So if um, you do not handle your BPO correctly and you do not have your estimates done to present to your BPO, then chances are, uh, the bank is going to go by what the appraiser says, and an appraiser does not know what it costs to fix a roof. An appraiser does not know what it costs to fix a foundation if they even notice that there's a foundation problem. Uh, they're not going to be able to tell you how much it's going to cost per square foot or per square yard for carpet or for countertops or any of the things that need to be done that we're going to have to put a price to. And we need to show the bank the work that needs to be done, and we need to be able to put a price to this. So it's very important that we follow certain steps. And if you're a member of TotalFinancialLiberty.com, um, we will be going through this in videos and through our training, and you will be taught step by step how to do this and how to work with the BPO, which is one of the most important parts of pulling off a successful short sale. So uh, let's move along here. In order to do a short sale on the property, the property must be in the pre-foreclosure stage. Uh, there are two stages within the pre-foreclosures. The first stage being those individuals who are behind on payments, and the second stage are those who are behind on payments, which a notice of default has been filed. 
in uh, order for this to work properly and for you to successfully get a short sale, you must find the homeowners who are in the second stage of pre-foreclosure or at least three payments behind on their mortgage. Once the notice of default has been recorded, banks become more motivated as well, uh, so you are more likely to get a discount. Until that time, it's very rare that a bank is going to take a discount on the mortgage because there's still time for the homeowners to go ahead and cure the problem and catch the loan up, and there is other options available to them. <clears throat> now, it does not matter what type of house or condition uh, it's in. All mortgages can be discounted. The best properties to do short sales on are the houses that need lots of work and repairs because lenders will give you a bigger discount if they see that they are basically don't wanters, you know, houses that they don't want to take back because they're going to end up uh, going through the foreclosure process, paying all this money in fees, and still have to discount the house out. So if you present your offer properly, <clears throat> there's a good chance that you will get your short sale offer accepted. Now, properties that are over leveraged are prime candidates also. Most newbie investors who see a house that's over leveraged with an upside down mortgage may think there is no hope for this property and basically move on, <clears throat> which is great for us. On the other hand, this is a sweet deal to the savvy investor. You know, investors that know how to do short sales, we know that a property that's upside down uh, could potentially be a great short sale candidate. Now, properties with large second mortgages are also as good as gold uh, because the second mortgage is wiped out at the foreclosure auction. Lenders with a second and third mortgage position would rather have something than nothing. Uh, you also receive larger profits when you invest in a more expensive home. Now, it, it's all relative. If you can make $10,000 on a $100,000 house, then you can make $100,000 on a million dollar house or more. Uh, this is because you're able to get bigger discounts from the lender on the properties over $500,000 and higher. Uh, the great thing about this is that it will cost you about the same amount on either property. Uh, wouldn't you rather have the $100,000 if you invested the same amount of time and uh, money? Uh, I would too, but you need to remember something. It's harder to sell a higher end home than it is to sell a home that's in a blue collar medium income uh, level neighborhood. So if you're in an area like I am in Texas where um, you know a blue collar neighborhood could be from $100,000 to $150,000, I could move or flip a house for $100,000 to $150,000 a lot quicker than I can for five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand, a million because there's simply more buyers, uh, there's more opportunities, there's more potential exit strategies. So be very careful when you are targeting your neighborhoods and to know what it is that you're going after and what your um, What's your actual, uh, you know, your limits going to be? Are you going to target homes from 150,000 and below, 200,000 and below, 300,000 and below? That's up to you. If you want to go with the higher homes, that's totally your choice too. As I said, you know, one uh, good, uh, one good short sale on a million dollar house, and you're able to flip it if you have the buyer to do so, is a home run. You know, that's a grand slam. You've made, uh, um, you know, half a year's, uh, if not a full year's, normal. Uh, pay scale of what somebody would make working a regular J-O-B, which you don't want to do. But remember, it's harder to move the higher end homes. So try when you're targeting your neighborhoods to stick with your medium income level homes. Again, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Uh, Total Financial Liberty can be yours. All you have to do is take it. Be sure to get your free trial at TotalFinancialLiberty.com. And uh, if you want, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you can get in there for, I think it's $1 right now for your first 30 days, and you'd be foolish not to. There's over hours of videos, so many hours of audios, um, there's a chat room, there's forums, there's blogs, there's so many articles. And again, we're not only going to teach you how to wholesale, we're going to teach you how to do subject twos, we're going to teach you about land trust, we're going to teach you to do short sales, we're going to teach you to do lease options. Um, basically, we're going to teach you every possible way to buy and uh, control real estate. So uh, don't be foolish and go to www.totalfinancialliberty.com today and sign up for your free trial or maybe $1 or whichever it is and get started today. Uh, again, this is Fred Burke with TotalFinancialLiberty.com. Until next time, uh, go buy some houses and we'll see you next time.